All right, so this is the super cheap Ampcom brand two and a half gig Ethernet switch with a 10 gig SFP plus uplink. And I got this on AliExpress for I think 60 or $70. It's an eight port, two and a half gig switch. The GUI is clearly got something, you know, stuff to be desired. It's, it's kind of a very simple, like hyper simple GUI, but we got IP setting where you can set the IP address from DHCP to, to static. Um, we've got user account management. It does give an icon. I'm plugged into port one and that's illuminated green to let you know what ports are plugged in. So we got user account management. We got port settings. Again, the UI is very basic, but it is functional. Everything actually is here that you would need. Um, under configuration, you've got a lot. You got VLAN, uh, 802.1Q, and you can set VLAN and VLAN tagging and uh, a name and select your ports and so on and so forth. Um, VLAN ID, uh, quality of service, look at this. There is some sort of QoS, now I'm on port to Q, and you can create queues Looks like they're simple cues or a form of a simple cue. Um, set a weight. Um, loop is probably, yep, spanning tree protocol. Is there rapid spanning tree? There's just loop detection and spanning tree or off. Uh, spanning tree. Oh, yeah, rapid spanning tree right there. Look at that. That's pretty rad. All right, so you get spanning tree. You can pick your ports for spanning tree. You can set your priority, your weights. Select if it's edge or not. Uh, you got IGMP snooping, which I don't work with, so I'm not very familiar with that. Uh, trunking, trunk group. Um, Link Aggregation Control Protocol, LACP, or a static trunk. Um, let's see here. Port-based mirroring. Oh, that's interesting. That's like, to me, that seems kind of like hacker. Uh, wow, both. So this is basically doing what you do with a getting accomplishing what you do with a hub with a switch that's kind of cool that might be good for uh sericata and security onion deployments um port isolation sorry if my phone gets blurry here i wish it would just stay in manual focus but it's having trouble doing the focus but we've got uh, different port isolation. Um, we've got bandwidth control, which I am guessing has to do with queuing. Or what are we doing here? Ingress and egress. Uh, is this some sort of limitation? I'm not quite sure how that works. I, uh, pardon my ignorance, there's some things I don't know that I need to know. So uh, I don't know how that ver version of bandwidth control. We obviously got jumbo framing because I don't think you could be doing VLANs. I guess you could, but not much without it. Uh, Mac. What does that say? Oh, no, don't change camera. Go back. Mac constraint. Huh. My iPhone 16 decided to change which camera it's filming with. What the hell? Um, I don't know what that is. Mac constraint. 
Maybe that's some sort of port security or something. No, I don't know what this is. I really don't even know what Mac Constraint is. And I'm sure I can look on the um, AmpCon webpage. EEE -E -E function? I have no fucking clue what that is, so... Uh, again, pardon my ignorance here. Security! Mac address. Mac search. Oh, look at that. It's finding Mac addresses. This is like the ARP table or something. Uh, Mac search, static Mac. VLANs. Oh, okay. I see what's going on there, I think. Storm control. Well, that's cool. So, if you get a broadcast storm, maybe this helps to truncate it or attenuate it. What do we got for monitoring? Uh, that's storm control. Monitoring, we got Port statistics. Um, I don't know if this supports syslog firmware upgrade. Eventually, you'll get the cool graphical user interface. Interface configuration backup and restore. Reboot save. Oh, reset reboot say or yeah, reset probably resets it can all your. Um, it just factory defaults it. Save your configuration. Reboot and log out. That's what we got for AmpCon. Two and a half gigabit per second. Um, managed switch off AliExpress. And I'll include the price in the description or the notes here of the video. But it was, it was definitely less than $100 each. I think it was closer to like $65 or something. They were not, this is not a PoE switch. It's just two and a half gig. I'm going to do throughput testing tomorrow.